Toyota secures huge lead in solid-state battery patents. Japanese companies dominate the top 10, but South Korean rivals are gaining ground. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle Tesla and Toyota news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Toyota Motor by far is the leading holder of solid state battery patents. Did you know that? A Nikkei study shows this, demonstrating how Japanese companies have dominated the race to develop the next generation power source for electric cars. Solid state batteries do away with liquid electrolytes used in conventional lithium ion batteries. T Day K and other companies have already put min uh, miniature solid state batteries on the market, but solid-state batteries for electric vehicles are still in the prototype stage. It is expected that solid-state batteries will double the driving distance and take a third of the time to recharge. The batteries are also known to reduce fire risk. So three main benefits that come from solid-state batteries. It is expected that they will double the driving distance. That means they may double the range of electric vehicles, the conventional average range that we're seeing today which is like what 250 to 350 or 400 miles per single charge so that can potentially be doubled I'm not talking about luxury uh, car race uh, ranges like the Mercedes EQS or the <clears throat> Uh, some other cars like Lucid Motors, Lucid Air with 500 plus miles of range. But average electric vehicle range is between 250 to 350, close to 400 miles. And the solid state batteries may double this range. And they also take may take three times less to recharge, which is a very big issue for electric car owners. And the good thing is, another good thing is that the batteries are also known to reduce fire risk, which is a great news. One major hurdle facing solid state batteries is the cost. A solid state battery is more than four times more expensive than a typical lithium ion battery, according to some estimates, Nikkei Asia reports. Nikkei has partnered with Tokyo research company Patent Result to pour over solid state battery patent applications submitted to the World Intellectual Property Organization and another group. Uh, the study looked at applications turned in between 2000 through the end of March from 10 countries and territories. Toyota is the leader with 1,331 known patents, while Panasonic Holding is a distant second with 445 patents. Idemitsu Kosan holds 272 patents, meaning Japanese companies held the top three spots. Imagine Toyota has 1,331 known patents just about solid state batteries. Fourth place is Samsung Electronics, was the only known Japanese company to enter the top five. Uh, actually, uh, uh, overall, Japanese uh, companies occupied six of the top 10 rankings. I should have, uh, like I said, non-Japanese companies. So, you know, it's the only non-Japanese companies. You know, Samsung Electronics is a Korean company. So fourth place, Samsung Electronics was the only non-Japanese company to enter the top five. Toyota has researched solid state batteries since since the 1990s, the company holds patents in a wide range of applications, including battery structure, material, and manufacturing processes. So you have got all this covered in order to make solid state batteries for electric cars. In 2020, Toyota came out of the gate first by developing a running prototype vehicle powered by a solid state battery. That same year, Toyota and Panasonic established an electric vehicle battery joint venture and both companies are working in conjunction to research and develop solid-state technology. Idemitsu, one of Japan's biggest oil refiners, holds patents mainly in metallic materials for solid-state batteries. Rivals outside of Japan are gaining ground in the solid-state patent game. South Korean players in particular have dramatically expanded the patents in their portfolios. Between 2016 
and 2020, Toyota increased patents in its possession by roughly 40%. So that means in 2016, the between 2016 and 2020, Toyota has increased its research on solid state batteries. And now we being in 2022, we probably should hear more about Toyota solid state battery technology and maybe a car running with solid state batteries. You know, Toyota is known to be very secretive. So it's difficult to leak information from Toyota. Historically, that has been the case. So what may happen is that one day we will have a press release that Toyota already has a car in beta with solid state batteries. So between 2016 and 2020, like I said, Toyota increased patents in its possession by roughly 40%. During that same span, Samsung more than doubled its patents while LG Chem tripled its count. So what does this, what does this mean for us? This means that all the companies see some type of future in solid state batteries, both Toyota, Samsung, and LG Chem, they double and triple or increase their uh, solid state battery research, looking for other ways to bring down the cost so they can have three times less charging, they can have double the range, and they can also have fire safety covered. South Korean companies possess numerous patents directly concerning real-world performance such as the lifespan of batteries. Sony Group was the first company to commercialize rechargeable lithium-ion batteries in 1991. Japanese corporations have continued to demonstrate that uh, they demonstrate their strength in electric vehicle batteries. In 2018, Panasonic held the largest global share in that category, according to Tokyo market analytics firm Techno Systems Research. But in recent years, Chinese companies backed by government largest have uh, universe uh, actually have invested heavily in batteries undermining the clout of japanese competitors last year panasonic slid to third place in market share i don't know if cattle is uh, backed by the chinese government but cattle is the largest electric vehicle battery company in the world and largest electric vehicle battery supplier to tesla so therefore we see cattle and some other chinese companies uh, uh, backed by the government largest, investing heavily in batteries and solid state batteries, undermining the clout of Japan's competitors. Last year, Panasonic, like I said, slid to third place in market share. As you know, Panasonic has a battery deal going on with Tesla at Gigafactory Nevada. Toyota, let's get back to Toyota. Toyota is due to roll out a hybrid vehicle equipped with a solid state battery during the first half of this decade. Nissan Motor and Honda Motor plan to release electric vehicles with solid state batteries in the later half of 2020s. Non-Japanese automakers like Volkswagen have their own plans to launch models with solid state batteries as well. As I said, Toyota is due to roll out a hybrid vehicle equipped with solid state battery during the first half of this decade. As I've reported before, people think it may be the Toyota Prius hybrid, not a Toyota electric vehicle with solid state batteries. So what do you think? Do you think Toyota Toyota first will have a Prius hybrid with solid state batteries versus electric vehicle with solid state batteries. In the same, in meantime, we remain the same with Toyota securing huge lead in solid state battery patents. We should see the result of this coming up soon in a release. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle coverage. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. Like this video if you found the information helpful. If you found it helpful, please give us super uh, thanks. We appreciate that. Your financial support will be greatly appreciated. Have a great day. See you soon in our next report.